Hello, and welcome to Retro Roulette, the show that asks the questions, why are you, and who is I? I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane oh. Forgione. I is me. Jason Amherst. He is early. You are Sven. And Billy Carter. I don't know what happened. I don't know where I'm going, but yeah. Yeah. If only you guys could have seen what happened in in between episodes. <laughs> Oh my lord! It was it was right. a cacophony of sound. I feel like there. Here's our first f- dump card. Well, what? Oh what, no! Kawaii percents. We have two. So, oh, there's your yep, first clue. I'm already, That's yep. dump card initiated. Gained yourself a dump card oh, initiated. Yeah. No. In, is this a is this a real time strategy? Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah no, um, this, this is. I'm, dump, uh, I'm dumping. This. All right, Billy. Dump it. Yeah, dump it. Get rid of this. Because if there's one thing, one thing I will not tolerate, it's a fucking real time strategy game. Correct. It's 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 another one of freaking. You gained yourself. You gained yourself a new subscriber. Don't Aww. ask how it has opened up Billy's door without a key. I use my fingernail. That's a pretty sharp fingernail. This might be all right. <laughs> and then oh, no. I, I said it might be all right, and then I saw the ocean logo. <laughs> ocean oh. man, take me by the hand. I can see a clam. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh. You know, do, do we have another dump? I can't you know, they made a game I'm of gonna, this. I'm going to go the route of Nintendo 64 Superman. This game is so bad, it's good. That's fair. So bad, it might be funny. Well, yeah. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, uh, let's, let's attempt. Yeah, let's... Because we might... Who knows? We might need a dump card for a rainy day. Yeah. So, oh, yes, full mode use... seven there. You know, we usually do it. We usually Isn't, do it on. Wasn't Brad Pitt strategy. in this movie? Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, can, uh, Basinger. Right. A nickel or your life? That's not a yes um, or no question. You don't even have money. Look out! Oh, well, I guess that was your life. Oh boy, this is. Wait, you got arrested? I got arrested. Why? <laughs> what the? What's going on in this wacky game? Oh, there's. My it's name is Harris, and here. I am the law around here. I know oh Holly brought you here, but I warn you now: Look keep away the... from her noids and doodles. Don't mix. Okay, Look off you fucking... go. Look at the fucking fish lips on Sness Brad Pitt there. Wee. What? <laughs> what the? Why do you keep getting arrested? What I do don't you know. Do? I don't know. Go the uh, other way. Jump with the guy and keep walking. I've been brought in on a routine checkup. Routine checkup. Yeah, I know. Keep away from Holly. Fuck off, Brad Pitt. Why do you? Why do you keep falling from a height of highness? Okay, let's try this right. again. Let's go in here and see what this is all about. Okay. Have I anything of interest to you, sir? You have no money. I don't. You're. You're right. Exit. Who just caught it? Me. Oh. Oh, you picked up oh, a punchy. Now I can punch. That is wonderful. Oh god. Oh no, you punched the critters. No. No, not Fozzie Bear. I can't hit him anyway. I can't. I can't. I can't duck. 
I can bend over. That's all I can do. I can bend over and take it in the fucking ass. I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> Piece of shit. Oh, I can. Mm. Oh, I can collect them. You know. Those. You know. <clears throat> kind of have a suspicion Ralph Bakshi doesn't like to talk about this movie. Yeah. Well, uh, I watched the whole thing explaining how this uh, how this was ruined by the studios. Yeah, like so many other things were ruined by the studios, like Robert Dangerfield. Really? Yep. You know, you got me curious. How did the studio interfere with Robert Dangerfield? Uh, it got turned G-rated. Oh, so it was a re- it was going to be more mature, but they Disneyfied it. Yeah, basically. So uh, basically, they roped them into Caddyshack too. You know, said, "Yeah, we'll let you do this if you do this." And he's like, "Ah, uh, fuck me." Wait, but I thought I thought he he never did go into Caddyshack too. Wasn't that a- yeah, and then God he never did Caddyshack too. And then they basically, you know, said, fuck you. And they basically, you know, kneecapped Rover Dangerfield because oh, of it. So because he didn't do Caddyshack 2, they fucked this, they fucked Rover Dangerfield. That's kind of, that's pretty fucking scummy. But then again, this is yeah. I thought there was a Caddyshack yeah. 2. There was. But Jackie Mason played the quote unquote Rodney Dangerfield role. Oh. Uh... Well, I see the keys, but how the hell do I get up there? I hate to... I I don't mean to alarm you guys, but, uh... You're playing as video game Gabriel Byrne. And? I'm just saying. God damn it. I'm under arrest again. This game sucks. You're, you're under arrest for being Gabriel Byrne. Get out of here. I warned you before, you must pay bail now to get out of here, Jack. Well, but, like, you didn't do anything. Fuck you, SNES Brad Pitt. Wait, now, now you have nine face coins. Oh, God, not nine face coin. This is... Did that... What? How do you... What are you doing? How uh-huh. do you get out of here? With my ass, much, I don't know. How much do you have to pay to get out of this place? I guess we're going to find out. Is it going to make me pay every every coin I have? You only had like three coins. Yeah, but it's counting down over there from like... You can't count it out from 99. Hey, Ralph Bakshi. What's up with this? What are you doing? There we go. Hold on, let me turn that back on. There we go. <laughs> this game is stinky. Yeah, but what it's... do you expect? It's ocean. Ocean man. Ocean ocean is, man. Uh... Motion ocean man. Ocean, I gotta be honest with you. Ocean, yeah, this... Ocean, ocean. this game is pretty stinky, but it's fucking hilarious. Don't punch the don't punch the Smurf cops. Flowers are nice gifts for bouncers. All right. I'm guessing I'm guessing that's a hint to get flowers for the bouncer. Okay, do you see flowers in here anywhere? I don't know. I don't see any. I I just work here, man. Ooh. Bye. My items are full. What? You have one whole item. You have you have flowers, I guess, right now. Do I? Or something? Or you have? A oh book. my god! Oh, look at that! I just did that. I didn't even realize I did. Keys. You won't get. Jump Can first. Jump first? Uh, select switch between items? Ew. I don't know. Are you even hitting him? 
Yes. There you. Fuck. Oof. Collect a flashing biff for vulnerability. Ah, uh, this game is a flashing biff. I don't. I don't know what. I don't know if you can uh, go back and forth between shit. Every time, every time he he turns his back to the camera, it looks like he's peeing. Bad move, Jack. Uh, looks like you died, Gabriel Byrne. So you died, you fuck. Yeah, nickel. Press the plungers for a surprise. No, I'm good. No, you can't do that because then the plungers kill you. Some of them do anyway. I don't know about all of them. Yeah, I don't know. Some, it's like some whirlpools or jacuzzis or whatever that thing is. Son of a bitch. No. Oh, I, 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 the first one I pressed didn't do anything. So the, those last two did stuff. I don't know, man. I guess that's why they call it a surprise. A surprise? Uh, a surprise. A surprise. Uh, this game is so stinky. I don't know what Nintendo was thinking. Uh, they thought was wrong. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Get off. Get off me! What are you? Ah, the tires are fucking my shit. They're fucking my aortas. Get off of me, police dudes. Thank you. No. F the hell with you, you stupid bunny rabbit bitch. Yeah. Greg the bunny sucks. The what? fuck are you? I don't know. Oh, the yeah. drums have started again. How lovely. Wait. <laughs> Get. What do you want from me? I'm Gabriel Byrne. <laughs> hey, uh. You. So, what do y'all think of Oasis getting back together? Could care you know, less. Never gonna happen. You know. Judging no, no they, they announced Next it. Summer. I don't care. It's never gonna happen. I don't care. You know, to be fair, it doesn't take much for the two of them to be like, "I fucking hate you." No, I fucking suck, Dick Liam. What? 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 Whoa! I died. Did Did I fucking die? I guess I did fucking die. Uh, what? Uh, oh. Because you're not jumping, I guess. How do you... I thought I hit jump. Oh, never mind. No, I didn't. I'm <laughs> I lied. I lied. I am stupid. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. Eh. Mm. Ah, piss. Forget... Listen, forget F-Zero. Forget Link to the Past. Forget Super Mario World. Cool, cool World, world on that. SNES is where it's at. Yeah. Motherfucker, do what I tell you to do, Gabriel Byrne. That car is so fucked. Look at it. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Who is playing Spirit of the Radio upstairs? <laughs> Invisible airways crackle with, with light. Bright and tender. <laughs> <whistle>. <laughs> God damn it, fuck, God, son of a bitch, Gabriel Byrne sucks. He's a bad protagonist. What kid wanted to play this? There was no kid that wanted to play this the game. The movie wasn't it's, even it's, for kids. For kids. I know. The movie is for adults. The, well, who the thought that that would Boom make... Who made this movie? Why would you make any R-rated movie a game? I'm looking at you, Lethal Weapon. Well, at least Lethal Weapon was... No, because it know, was also Ocean good. Software. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> no, it was it was also Ocean Software. Why did Ocean Software make video game adaptations of R-rated movies? No ooh, kid ooh, is gonna know what the hell's going on. They didn't watch the movie. Unless they they make kids shows out of RoboCop and shit. I mean, I'm asking you, David Ward and John Woods, who apparently were the people who created Ocean Software. Yeah, yeah, got no answers, huh? Did I actually make it to the end of that? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. Oh I, I, oh Oh my lord. Hanna Barbera this just threw up all over this game. That's what this. That's what, that's what it is. Hanna hey, Barbera. You know, you know something, fellas? I just realized something. This game's kind of silly. <laughs> kinda. Not in a good way. Oh. Not in a good way. Oh my lord. Do I go in this okay. thing? Okay. No, I don't. Thank God. <laughs> give me a biff. No, give me Ooh. a biff. I want a biff. No! What? You. you... That came out of your butt. Why killed you? Oh, Jesus. Lord have mercy. I have invincibility on. That's bullshit. Well, JBL is apparently in GCW now, too. What? Who? JBL is apparently in GCW, too. Oh, yeah. He made an appearance in, in, G, in, B, in GCW to beat up a, an effeminate character. So, normal JBL. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's kind of par for the course for JBL. That's just JBL's character. He beat up a guy, beat up a guy wearing fishnets. So, yeah, Matt Cardona made a post about it, saying people seem to be confused why I brought JBL into GCW. Let's not forget he was one of only four men to have won the illustrious Internet Championship. Okay, I guess All that's right, fair. I will be right back, guys. I'll be left I front. Have got to use the facilities. This game made oh, you want to piss? Uh, other th things. This and game made you want to shit? Yeah. Uh, so, if I'm not back before you guys change games, you, pretty much what I'm about to do in the toilet is what I think of this game. No, that's All fair. Right. Okay. <sighs> Two out of ten. Gotcha. Two out of ten. Number two. Number two. Number two. Da, 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 circus. Oof. This game is really fucking stinky. This game is one of I'll avoid my bowels. This <laughs> nah. poop wow. fart poop fart. No no children's cartoon is safe from being rebooted. This wasn't a children's <laughs> cartoon. Why? What's getting rebooted of it? Barney. That Ooh. wasn't a cartoon. It was a live action. It's getting an animated version. Oh, no. Oh. It's getting a CG animated version. So oh. is Winnie the Pooh, apparently. Oh. Winnie the shit. And Dora the Explorer is getting a uh, CG animated version. Willie oh, the Pooh. Bother. Oh, bother. I'm not wearing pants. You Winnie. can see my Winnie yeah, No, Winnie, Winnie the Pooh is wearing a hoodie. Maybe the animators will be thoughtful enough to put a penis on me this time. I, I do hope they give me a large corkscrew. <laughs> I'm not a duck. No, uh, still, it's very thoughts on Cool World, Dane? This is this is a hilariously bad game. Oh Some God, games yes. are bad, but bad and boring. This is fucking hysterical and boring. I. Just, just look at this, and I'm gesturing at the screen so you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> look at this Ooh. mess. Look at this fucking mess. How is this supposed to be appealing to children? Uh -huh. Jason. Yo. I mean, it's one of the better looking ocean games. No, it's not it's saying not. much. No, it's not. It looks like it looks like all of my Saturday mornings threw up. Yeah, to be <laughs> Which fair. Which is what Cool World kind of looked like. Yeah. To be fair. But at least in Cool, cool World, World, I only had to subject myself to it for 90 minutes. To be fair, Cool World was visually nice looking at the time. Right. Yes. 
it, it everything it did well was done well three years earlier by who framed Roger Rabbit. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I mean, basically, who asked for this? Nobody. Shit? This is adult Who Framed exactly. Roger Rabbit, which Robert Who Framed Roger Rabbit wasn't exactly a children's movie anyway, but. True. This nobody asked for this. Nobody asked for this. Nobody asked for the movie. Nobody asked for the game of the movie. Nobody asked for this. Scores out of ten, Dane. Zero. Jason. Zero. Yeah, zero. Nobody Oof. nobody in their right mind asked for this. Listen. Ralph Bakshi is ashamed. You know, we can only things can only things can only go up from here. That's all I, I can hope. Say. Oh Lord! Well, we still have one dump card left. This will probably get it. Um, I mean, I I don't think we've ever seen a rugby game played before on this. I guess if you wanna. I mean, this is I, a, this is a European only release, by the way. Okay, I mean, I kind of, I'm kind of intrigued to see what a rugby game is. How how do you play rugby? Guess we'll find out. When, All right, so we're not using a dump card. All right, I got it. It's a it's a weird fucking hybrid of football and soccer. Soccer. It's uh, oh. it's it's foot football ball. Oh god! It's, is this it's derpy looking? Is this chibi style? I don't have any idea. Looks like. Again, this is a game that never came out in America. Listen, we've been wrong before. We there's been games we played that we dismissed, but wound up being good. So. Um. Oh, can we do computer versus computer? I hope. Ah, uh, that's right. F you know, Fiji is the number one rugby team in the world. Scotland. Oh, is a friendly. Um, let's do. Oh, there's the old black. New Zealand. Uh, Samoa. So we got England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales. Little boys have puppy dog tails, and then you have France. Australia, New Zealand, Romania, and I was. Mm. This is Argentina, Canada, Fiji, Italy, and then Japan, USA, West Samoa, and Zimbabwe. What two teams should well, we pit against each other? Okay. So, in this is back in the early nineties. Uh, 92, so yeah. 92. So it would have to be Fiji and New Zealand were considered the two best teams. Alright. Oh, look, it says Computor to Computor. Yeah, alright, let's fucking do it. Start match. Okay. Let's, let's see how a rugby is played. Oh, mode 7, okay. Good. I'm glad it's that and not, like, fucking... Side side by side, which it, I guess wouldn't be that bad on SNES, but at least they're taking advantage of the of the uh, hardware. Got to get to the goal. Well, here comes here comes the scrub. When does the play end? I have no clue. Line, that's an out of bounds. I know that. You would have mm -hmm. thought when somebody got tackled, the play would be over, unless they fumbled it, I guess. I don't know. Really, again, I don't know how rugby works. <laughs> I'm not a rugby it's, guy. It's a fundamental difference. There's no... There's never any kind of... Um, I feel like I need to be... I feel like I need to be looking at, like, a Wikipedia article for rugby before, while I'm playing this game. Otherwise, I'm not going to have any friggin' clue what's going on. Yeah, that guy got tackled. And that's it, looks like. Is that the end of the play? No. Or did they just start another play and it's like just fluid playback? That might be what it is. That is correct. Okay. 
That's fair. And you thought cricket was confusing. Cricket is confusing. Cricket, a cricket match could go on for like three or four days. Not interested in seeing that play out in video game form. Don't you want to see sticky wickets? Uh, I'd just take off nah. my pants and stand in front of a mirror, I'd say. I knew you'd say that. Yeah, yeah throw that bastard in. Go. You Go. know what? Go. I did Go. not notice that. And uh, that's kind of hilarious. What? What's that? Uh, during AEW's All In, uh, the Young Bucks both had mustaches during their match. Yet during uh, uh, Perry's match, when they came out with the can of uh, petrol, one of them suddenly didn't have a mustache. Hmm. What? That's. I don't get it. It's a weird continuity issue. Yeah. <clears throat> when that all live, all in one shot, like all in one like thing. So he probably it was shaved. all in one event. Yeah, so he probably shaved in the middle of the show. Yeah, or or, or it was. I, oh shit! Sure. How I know? He's Score. Try scored. Fiji's up five to nil. Okay. Five. <clears throat> I will say five points seems like a a little bit more rounder of a of a score than seven. I never or six rather. I never understood six. Oh, now it's seven. So apparently that was a two point kick. Still, the scoring, I think, makes a little more sense here. He, he literally grew a freaking mustache for the Sergeant Pepper bit and then shaved it off immediately after the match. Mm. So, for those of you who are in, who are wondering, if you ground the ball, in the goal area, which is what Fiji did in this game. It's worth five points. And the conversion afterwards is worth two points. Or you can do a drop kick, which is kind of basically a uh, field goal, and you can get three points. Okay. You're going for the, they're going for the conversion. Uh, mm -hmm. New, uh, New Zealand scored. And the kick is good. So we're tied up. Okay. Correct Amundo. Rugby is a game that's much better watched on TV than video game form. That's probably fair. Yeah. I would figure, like, this is pretty simple to follow. Why 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 isn't rugby a lot more popular in America, I wonder? There's uh, a rugby, there is a rugby league in America. Football. I mean I, I mean I know there is, but like That's what you do in the off season. While football's not happening, you have rugby. Yeah. I I know a lot of people that would probably like rugby if they actually watched it. Brought to you by Hugbees, because everybody likes to say Hugbees. Hugbees! Come on, say it. Hugbees. What the fuck? What a field. Why is everything all screwed Wait. up now? I don't know. Did, why, did they uh, re, why did they repaint the field and also the signs and also the scoreboard? Why? Did we all just drop it? Uh, I don't know what's going on here, man, but this needs to stop. I don't either. It's weird. Hey, listen. Jason, you're neck of the woods. The New England Immortals were apparently a very good rugby team. Huh. I did not know that. 
My dad, when he went to England about two years ago, he went to a rugby match. And uh, it was his first time ever seeing, you know, one live. And he brought me home a jersey. And you proceeded to flush it down the throat. And you just see, and you proceeded to ask him why he brought home a whole territory of England. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Dad, why? Why, did, did, why you... did you bring me the, the, the territory of Jersey? <laughs> because, because, son, I know. I don't need, we don't need Jersey. We already have a new Jersey. <laughs> we have Jersey. We, we don't need we don't need jersey. In we fairness, have jersey at home. I'm just saying. In fairness, <laughs> the the old jersey is probably better than the new jersey. The new jersey is basically fucking Essex. <laughs> Fun or Birmingham? That honestly, <laughs> he said. He said, "What am I? Your mother? Your mother? We spent time in a beef Essex <laughs> over Essex." <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you want to know who won the the Major League Rugby Cup this year? New England Free Jacks. It's true. Uh, huh. Free Jacks. It sounds like they're giving away STDs. Actually, they are back to back champions because they won in twenty twenty three as well. <laughs> well. There you go. I feel like if people gave rugby a chance and not just dismissed it as a mutant form of football, I think it would probably catch on here a lot better. It's a brutal game. It's brutal. That That's certainly... probably part of the reason why it should be a lot more popular here, you'd think. NFL, you you don't get all the, the brutal hits, especially not anymore with all the rule changes in place and shit. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get all that anymore. Rugby is kind of the only sport you're going to get that kind of full contact. No padding. No, no, no. I guarantee if they had a, if they started a, I guarantee that they probably have some sort of padding in, in America. Cause well, we're, you we're can't all wear a helmet. Well, yeah. You can't wear a helmet. And you, you probably, and you probably should, I'll be honest. But the, outside the of New that, England free, the New England free jacks are based out of Quincy, Massachusetts. I don't, I don't know how far that is from Boston. Does, does Ohio have one? Um, oh uh, yeah, Greater Boston area. <laughs> the closest. I, all I can tell tell you is I can guarantee that no city in Massachusetts is further than eighty miles from where Chase is. <laughs> the closest that Ohio has to a rugby team is the Chicago Hell Knights. So okay, that, that you said the you Chicago you. Hell Knights. The Chicago. I, that would be a badass name. That, I would, what? If the, yeah, so, if they uh, were the Chicago Hell Knights, I would be a fan tomorrow. <laughs> the, the Chicago That's fucking badass. Hounds. Chicago Hounds. Oh, like Hounds. Quincy is... Sorry, uh, I guess. Quincy's in uh, Norfolk County, and uh, it's uh, the birthplace of John Adams and John Quincy Adams. Well, as well as uh, oh, well, John the, Hancock. Oh, would you believe that the, the father and the son were born in the same place? How about that? The fucking... Why'd you know Ohio? You know right, what I'm, really I'm going to start a rugby team called the uh, the Cincinnati Hell Knights. Go ahead. Yeah. No one's stopping. That'll get, that'll get people involved in rugby real quick. It's like... The Cincinnati Hell Knights, that sounds badass. <laughs> you gotta get like a bunch of big jack guys. It's the best like, thing about Hell. be the best thing about Cincinnati. <laughs> uh, besides, people from besides Quincy of course indeed, leaving Cincinnati. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to Cincinnati, Billy? Notable people from Quincy. Many, many times. And weren't you always happy to leave? No, I oh. kinda like it there. Yeah, why? Uh, Let's go to date oh, since he light. <laughs> I like the Reds and the Bengals. I mean, that's fair. Adi M from the uh, Wizard of Oz is from there. I mean, in mm. fairness, Billy, you could watch the Reds or the Bengals on Dick television Dale. and not risk getting shot. That's true. Um, Bill Dana, also known uh, as Jose Jimenez. So that was it. Uh, New, New England won 14 to 10. Cool. Time. 
So we're just gonna we're mm. gonna we're gonna go in that segment here. Thoughts on world class rugby, Dane? I mean, I I like watching rugby, so I, I I guess I was a little more vested in this game than the other people in this call. I like You're rugby really... too. Oh, okay, all right, okay, Jesus. okay, all right. Calm your fucking ass down. Oh. Your tits. I mean, <clears throat> calm them. It's. It wasn't terrible, but I feel like it's much better to experience it on television or live in a state. I mean, that could be said of any sport, but that's fair enough. Uh, Jason. Eh, sports game. Sport. <laughs> sport. Billy. I like rugby. Um, you don't see too many rugby games, especially released here in the States. This one wasn't. And I wish pe- I know. I wish people would give it a chance. Yeah, it's it's fine for what it is. Uh, I didn't think we'd get 15 minutes out of rugby, but here we are. Um, <laughs> and we actually tried to be as knowledgeable as we possibly could about it and educate ourselves, which is... I don't know what a, what where's retro who, who are we and what have we done with retro roulette? Um, scores out of ten, Dane. I'll, I'll say six. Jason. Three. Billy. I'll give it a six. I'll go right down the middle and say five. Here's an interesting person from Quincy, Massachusetts. Uh, Jace, you might appreciate this. Dick Flavin, the poet laureate of the Boston Red Sox. Huh. Flat. Interesting. I didn't even know the Boston Red Sox had a poem. Okay. This will be interesting. I didn't know that either. What is it? And what is this? Oh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. Good old hey, epics. Guys- oh, boy. And do you guys want to do a dump card on this one? Uh, okay. Dane, Dane is initiating the jump card. Jason? Yeah, sure, why not? Well, you know what? Might as well, I guess. Because right. you, guys, you, you guys all seemed kind of like iffy about it. So I was like, eh, might as well... Yeah, I know. I mean, like, it's it's five mediocre mini games on the Super Nintendo. Fair enough. Spinning. Oh, I'm like, I'm hoping for Brawl Brothers or Combat Tribes or. Well, here's, you here, know. Here, here you go, Jason. It's Jason's choice. Pick something. Oh, damn. Yeah, because, like, hmm. shit. I'm trying there's to remember still, now which one was what. There's still a couple of really good games on the left on the list today. And I was going to say, because uh, Brawl Brothers and Com- Combat Tribes, I think, are both part of the Rushing Beat series. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, uh, Rushing Beat was Rival Turf. That was it. And then Combat Tribes, I think, was the third one. No, it was the Peacekeepers. So I, Combat Tribes, I think, was just a shitty fighting game. No, Brawl Brothers. Okay. Sounds good to me. I, I, I was torn between that and Pocky and Rocky, but I want to see a good uh, beat em up. Bro, brothers, you get caught up in the. <laughs> you know, Jalico. I'm looking up. I'm oh looking God! Up celeb- okay, Combat Tribes was a beat 'em up from Tech uh, from Technos Japan. Bro so it was brothers. from the makers of uh, freaking uh, Double Dragon. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. So okay, so it would have been a, a beat 'em up anyway. All right. Just not a good one. What is, no one. What is angry mode? I guess turn I don't it on. Know. 
I think angry mode would uh, would be the. Uh, I think that might be uh, like you could damage uh, player two. That would be two play hit on right. Oh, maybe I don't know. I don't know what angry mode does. I'm gonna leave it off just in case it's, it's something stupid. Yeah, you know, I guess I could look it up. Hey, the Russian hey, beat games are really good, though. What is angry mode in the SNES game Brawl Brothers? Makes the character invincible and more powerful after taking a certain amount of damage. Okay. Um. okay. Thank you, Siri. You're welcome. She did say my pleasure. I forgot I have an iPhone now. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, all right, we'll do that then. That works. Well, let's play this bad boy. The only downside is that uh, the Peacekeepers on SNES Online uh, isn't four players. Uh, I want to play as her. Oh, okay. You don't want to play as Black and Bison? There we go. That'll work. You know what I just learned? The alphabet? Uh, what's that? No, well, no, Toledo has a very famous um, or influential voice actor is from here. Who? Dawes Butler. Oh, yeah. Uh, he did Snagglepuss, Yogi Wee. Bear, Huckleberry Hound, Elroy Jetson, Mr. Jinx, Baba Louie. Yep. Barney Rubble. He did all those things. Back. Hair Bear, Quick Draw McGraw, Scooby Dumb. He did Wimpy's voice. Uh, Super Snooper, Labber Mouse, Rock Slag, uh, Captain Skyhook, Lamsey, um, uh, Limpy the Lion, Fred Flintstone, Top Cat. Oh, shit! Yippy That's Yappy Yahoo. Drive that dude. Did that say Spack? Yeah, Spack. Okay. It's not my choice of onomatopoeia, but all right. Whatever. I don't know why we don't have a statue of this guy We're here. Float your boat. Whatever, blow your hair the, back. Look at the big booby lady. Boom. I'm in angry mode. I'm angry. Ooh, ooh, angry. Ooh, oh, Andy. Ooh, Andy, I am angry. I am angry. And I am horny also, but I am angry. Pile driver. I play this on the Switch. Hey, Squidward. Is this on Switch Online? Yes. I haven't, yeah, it is I haven't, on Switch I Online. Say, I haven't checked Switch Online in forever. Now that I'm finally... I've tested out my Elgato to make sure it works. I mean, that's definitely a possibility again. Thank God. There's Barbie on the ground. Yeah. Uh, all three... Uh, all three... Uh, Games in this series are on Switch Online. Nice. They're all good. They're all good. Rival Turf. Uh, this one I've played and Rival the Turf. Peacekeeper. I've never played those. This one or the other one. But I played Rival Turf. Yep. In Japan, they all go under the same name of Rushing Beat. I like that in 2K24, you can oh. use a barbed wire bat now. Heckler. That's his name. Yeah, it was either this, Combat Tribes, or Pocky and Rocky. Well, Pocky and Rocky is a good game. If I Hard, but good. Yeah. Just like me. Mm-hmm. I have a rock. <laughs> I hit it with a rock. I hit it with the country of Iraq. I have an apple. I have a bandana. What? I don't know what any of that means, man. I have a pen. I have a penis. Pen, penis, penis, pen. Shouting! Please, please.
Lead Head. One of these <clears throat> terrible wrestler names. I know, right? Wendy. What a terrible name. Listen, her her burgers are delicious. That is true. I prefer her spicy chicken myself, but that's how but it ever is. Since, but ever since she did that video with five guys, I don't ever want to go back. <laughs> oh, the one where she went in and out with five guys? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, brother. But I'm Tish. Cheating on the Burger King. And then they jacked on her box. Yeah, yeah. and then she became the Dairy Queen. Yeah. Are you guys proud of yourselves? Are you proud? <laughs> I've never been proud of myself, Dane. You know that. Well, I'm proud of you. Thank you, son. D uh, what? Uh, no problem, Dane. Dane. Thank no problem, Dane. Thank you, daughter. What the Don't fuck? Don't call me daughter. My friend told me the picture cap will remind. <laughs> Oh, I love man. side scrolling beat em ups. I was watching so, uh, I was watching old game shows on YouTube the other day and I came across uh, Comedy Central's versus Yeah. It's not good. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not. It really wasn't no, a good huh? show. It, the only thing saving that show was the fact that Greg Proops was the host. Hmm. So you really gotta get uh that uh that game What the Dub because uh they they have uh on Steam, the ability to uh, download uh, packs uh, on Steam Workshop, and somebody does have uh, a uh, old game show clips pack. Okay, tell me if you guys remember this show, Beat the Geek. Beat the Geeks? Yes, I was actually watching a couple episodes of that. Uh, my opinion, second season of that show is better. The one yeah. with Blaine Capatch as the host. J. Keith Van Stratton yeah. you know, is a very wooden host. Do you remember the horror geek? Uh, mm, sort of. The ones I the, the episodes I watched didn't have the horror geek. I had the the ones I watched had there was a comic book geek, a toy geek, geek Playboy geek. So just a perv, I guess. Well, this, here's a my... nerd who's seen a lot of boobies on paper. Mike Bracken was the horror geek, and he has his own YouTube uh, review series. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, he does. I forgot he was on that show. I remember there were two different music geeks. I remember that much. Oh, you'd like his show. It's very, uh, although the funny thing is about Mike Bracken, he's a power lifter. <laughs> he's not a, he's not a what I would call your stereotypical geek. The guy can, like, bench press 700 pounds. <laughs> True. But yeah, that, sh He's... that show was definitely better with Blaine Capatch as the host. Blaine Capatch <laughs> is about a million times funnier Yeah. than J. Keith Rand Stratton. At season 2 guy, he actually was a geek. That's the thing. Blaine, Blaine, he liked what he yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah, Blaine Capatch uh, did a lot of work in, the early, in his early days with Drew Carey. They knew each other. They've been on At Midnight together a couple times. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Here's a game show that I'd forgotten existed. Idiot Savants. Oh, God. Can you say I remember that? It's, uh, it was MTV. It was very, very short-lived. It was hosted by Greg Fitzsimmons. Okay. It's a very underrated show, actually. I, I watched a, an episode of it recently, and it's kind of... It might have been a little too smart for an MTV crowd, I'll be honest. <laughs> but that being yeah. said, it's still it was still fun to watch. Of course, everybody remembers Remote Control. Yeah. I was going to say, I, I, I prefer Remote Control. So. I do, too. Oddly enough... That was also an NES game. Yes, it was. Speaking of remote control, I saw there's there's actually a Canadian 
a Canadian look-alike called Test Pattern. Uh, hmm, and there was, I, I saw an episode of it. It was on YouTube, and uh, yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty much Canadian remote control. <laughs> oh, how's it going, Dave? That guy's name was Snord. Snord? Snord. F-N-O-R-D. Snord. What's your name? My name is Snord. What? My name is Snord from the fjord. Remember when Comedy Central tried to do Make Me Laugh? Yeah. Uh... Here's here's a uh, classic uh, MTV game show, Web Riot. I don't remember uh, that show. No, I don't either. It was a uh, game show that you could actually play online live as the game show was airing. I vaguely, I vaguely remember that. Hosted by Ahmed Zappa. Ah yes. Oh jeez. Abed Zappa. Didn't he host Say What? The the character well, he had a sh- game show. Well, he had a show with he had a show with his brother. You know that much. Yeah. Which yeah, I believe Dweezil? he uh, he hosted Say What as well. Ahmed and Z- uh, Dweezil. Yep. Yeah. Uh, don't forget their the- sister Moon Unit. Yeah. He- wasn't he the guitarist of the? two brothers. I, I don't know. I don't remember. It was Moon the unit. 90s. Yeah. Things were I do know then. that I do know that his brother sang uh, the Grinch song for the movie. You're a mean one, Mr. Yeah. Grinch. You're a Bitch face, Mr. Grinch. You really are a dick. <laughs> You're an asshole, Mr. Grinch. You can take your dick and shove it right up your fucking ass, Mr. Grinch. Now let's get out get you carried away here. I wouldn't touch you with Cindy Lou Who's grown up vagina. She's in the pretty reckless now, so that's pretty Awesome. She's hot. <laughs> what? Okay. She is. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Caught up Susie Lou's butthole. Su- Susie, do, 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 do. who is Susie Lou? I don't know. You mean Susie, Susie. Q? The woman. Susie Lou. Who? The woman. The the woman that was played by the Pink Ranger. Who is also hot? That still is Amy Jo Johnson. Uh, I'd I'd rather uh, friggin' uh, go for uh, the uh, Lost Galaxy Yellow Ranger. Yeah, she was hot too. I don't know who that is, and I'd probably after my time. So uh, she 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 was in. Uh, she was in not another teen movie as uh, Ariola the Exchange. Oh, Rain. Serena uh, Vincent. Yeah, I get yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm. I, I. I. I would be down with that. Bet you since I don't even. I wouldn't even ever have to ask you to get naked. I've seen a naked. I yeah. have a CD, a DVD that, Congratulations. that a friend of mine that a friend of mine made. Oh. It has. There's more to the story. Sorry. Every nude scene a female ranger has been in, whether in movies, in movies. Yeah. Seriously. Uh, I came and then to, short- I came to America to be object of lust for poor nerds who cannot get American pussy. <laughs> well isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> uh, she walks around thoughts- naked the entire movie. Yeah. It's pretty nice. She goes to a party naked, and there's another chick there naked. I, she's like, I can't believe we both wore the same thing. Uh, what, are the same what are the chances that you'd both show up naked to the party? Uh, thoughts on Brawl Brothers, Dane? 
I liked it. Very, very good beat em up. I was enthralled. Jace, you made an excellent choice. I love you. Jason. This is, this is a solid uh, Final Fight clone. Billy. I love side scroll beat em ups. Uh, there are some stinkers, but this is not one of them. Yeah, I was going to say, it's really hard to mess up a beat em up. Um, it's been done, but um, this is not one of those bad beat em ups. This is a, a very competent beat em up. It's a lot of fun to play, but it's mindless fun, as beat em up should be. Scores out of 10, Dane. Dane. Jason. 10. Billy. 10. I'll give it a 10. On this edition of the show, we played Cool World, Rug- World Cool World World Class Rugby and Brawl Brothers. It's very when one when one game title ends with the word world and the next one starts with the word word world, it makes me confused. Cool World World Class Rugby and Brawl Brothers. Dane, best game of the episode. Brawl Brothers. Jason. Brawl Brothers. Billy. Rugby. Brawl Brothers. Yeah, I didn't think there was going to be any competition. Brawl Brothers is the winner. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Fortune, Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying, see you next time. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. Yeah, see you next time. What? 